Uh, with the Garmin 1020XS. This is Garmin's 10-inch system, GPS math division. This system is obviously becoming quite popular because it does run full channel chirp. Single channel chirp, but full channel chirp. On top of that, it also runs Garmin's really, really groovy G2 vision map capabilities as well as um, its black box features such as the Garmin Clearview for your side and down view functions. So what I wanted to show you quickly first it's Garmin's mapping options. So we go to charts, each icon here you can see lines up with its own dedicated button and then we can select what type of mapping we're after. Navigation charts what 99% of people are going to use. So we press navigation chart and you can see we've got our full details. All our spot soundings, contour lines, shading, uh, all our channel lines etc. So it's what most people do. All these particular numbers around the outside we can change, we can change the position of, we can add and remove our compass tape. So we just press the back button now and look at our other mapping option. Perspective 3D is if we had put a small little toy boat on top of a dining room table with a map underneath it. It's not used that often but it's pretty cool. Mariner's Eye 3D is one of the G2 vision options. This is quite cool. This is your Miami Vice helicopter shot behind the boat showing the world in 3D as if the water was incredibly clear. So we're in Port Phillip Heads at the moment we can see all our shipping channels, we can see our, our um, drop offs and holes. So that's quite cool and I can zoom in and out as I like, there's land. Going back now, Fisheye 3D is very similar, it shows us the same thing but beneath the boat. And this way we can see what our sonar cone is doing. Here's the vessel, here's our sonar cone itself. You can see there's all the holes and drop-offs. Interestingly now, these little coloured balls are objects that we've picked up in our sonar. They represent what the object was in terms of density, by yellow, red and green, and by number at what depth it's at. It doesn't replace this sonar, but it's a very useful tool. If we just go back now, we also have fishing charts. Fishing charts removes a lot of the navigational detail and increases the amount of contour lines. So if you're trying to find that perfect drop off or find the shelf, it's a really, really useful feature. A lot of people argue because it's not touch screen, it's a little bit difficult to use. I disagree. I think it's still very, very simple. Obviously moving around the map's not quite as easy, but the touch button here does um, operate pretty, uh, pretty smoothly and pretty quickly. We also have a dedicated number pad for entering waypoint coordinations or names of waypoints. We just find a destination, we click navigate to, we press the go to if we want to go straight there. The process you can see works very very quickly on these Garmin's and will take no time to calculate the route. You can see I'm going in a straight line. If I go in a straight line over here, it takes me across land and that's no good to us because we're not a helicopter. <laughs> So let's um, choose a different option. Let's go guide to now. So we press guide to, it does some calculation. It says don't sue us, and it now navigates us around objects, maintaining us in at least five meters of water on the correct side of navigational beacons. This is a really, really handy tool in particular for Western Port. When we do set our navigation, it tells us all about our destination, time, arrival, how far of course and the bearing. If I press home, it takes us back to our home screen. It's from here we can get to our sonar. So when I press sonar, once again, it shows us all our sonar options. In this particular case, if we had the GCV side and down view module box connected, we'd be having down view, side view, and all the combination options. If I just press traditional, you can see we're running full chirp now. Chirp, in this case, you can run all kinds of options from the TM150M, which is a 300 watt transom mount, all the way up to your uh, B75 600 watt chirp ones. So you can see we're running down now, uh, what's our depth? About 350 feet. We're getting great target separation the whole way down too. I can zoom in and zoom out. I can cruise up and down the water column as much as I like. If I press menu, you can see I can still adjust all my different buttons. So if I want to change my gain, I can still do that. If I want to change my frequency, to any one of my set frequencies that I can manually type in by going add. Say I want to have 130 kilohertz to chase snapper, I can just dial it in. 
if I go down to my sonar setup and go to my advanced section I can operate my TVG settings, change my color gain, change my interference functions, etc. So as a system of its particular price point, it's incredibly powerful, it's incredibly sensitive with its chirp, it's incredibly easy to use, I find. It does have a built-in 10 Hz GPS GLONASS antenna, so if you want to function uh, with a slightly more accurate GPS, it's quite capable of it. It does also run NEMA 2000, so we can run engine diagnostics. This is four engines, we can obviously go menu, gauge setup, engine selection, Let's go one engine, press home, go back to gauges, engine. We're now got our single engine display. We have a built-in IR sensor which constantly adjusts the screen. We can turn that on and off. We can add radar to our particular unit. We can overlay radar if we use a heading compass. Uh, weather we don't get in Australia. Under navigational info, we can get a whole bunch of our groovy um, offshore services functions like fuel, toilets, boat ramps, etc. As well as our waypoints, tracks and routes. And that's just a brief overlook at the Garmin 1020XS. And this is all palatable to the Garmin 820XS over here. Obviously major difference is we're missing the number pad. So I hope you had a good look at that. Um, if you do have any questions, shoot us a message, shoot us an email, send us a fax. Does anyone fax anymore? Or phone call? Either way, more than happy to help. My name is Moose, I'm from Regal Marine, and uh, thanks very much for watching.